We have told you all about the Cirque du Soleil that is coming to the Rush Center. It's going to be very cool because it's on ice, <laughs> and we are talking about it this morning. A couple of performers, and Julie Demaray is here with the details. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. Julie, let's start with you. Um, tell us a little bit about how Cirque can mesh with ice. It sounds very dangerous. <laughs> well, first, safety is always yeah. our main priority. So everything that we explore or create comes with safety and that's always the first guidelines we have in anything we we create. Crystal is our 42nd creation at Cirque du Soleil and mm -hmm. first time ever on ice. We really wanted to bring two worlds together, acrobatics and uh, ice skating in different forms, either figure skating and solo or pairs, synchro and extreme skating, come together into this very unique creation where you see lots of things that we've never done before. I even saw like a guy with a hockey stick going yeah. doing some jumps and things like that. Are you bringing in all sorts of skating no matter what? Exactly. Yeah. So we do have uh, we have about 40 we have 43 artists on stage. Half is acrobat, other half is um, skaters. So within these group of skaters, we do have five extreme skaters that these that do these crazy jumps like yeah, you're like seeing that. right now. Um, so imagine a outdoor skate park where you have these inline skaters, but bring it to ice. Yeah. Well, we are lucky enough to have two performers here. Are you wearing skates? Are you part of the, the team that's doing that, or are you more the aerial stunts? Uh, it's kind of a mesh of both, really. Okay. We actually had to learn how to skate when we arrived. Oh. Like, luckily, we, most of we do have a bit of experience with it. But, um, yeah, we actually have to do both in the show, but not nowhere near to the extent of the actual professionals. But, um, yeah, we're mostly just the, the acrobats. But it is also really different for us too because we we had to fashion like a shoe that allows us to run on the ice, which has oh. what they call crampons in the bottom of them, okay. which are um, yeah they're not not fun to catch sometimes. Hence the uh, the, the slight battle <laughs> yes. on the arm. But uh, wow. but yeah, but the two world colliding was uh, was a really unique process. So Jack, have you done um, Cirque shows before, or how did you get up here? This, this is actually my first Cirque du Soleil show, but I've been working in other companies and stuff previously for okay. for a few years. But, um, but yeah, this is my first Cirque show. And where are you from? I'm from the UK, from the north. Okay, very good. I have to ask about the accent. Amber is here as well. Talk a little bit about your history with acrobatics and how you ended up in this show. Um, so I started as uh, an acrobat in sports acrobatics and oh. used to compete. Um, and then when I was about 15, I got contacted by Cirque and I joined Cirque when I was 15. Oh my gosh. So 2011, I started. Okay, so where are you from? I'm from Belgium, from Antwerp. Oh wow, we've got two international <laughs> performers here. All right, well, you know, you guys were going to show us a little bit about, is, is this what you would do to like practice before you go out on the ice? Talk a little bit about what you're going to show us. The, well, because we're quite limited with the, yeah, with with the, the height, height the studio. Yeah. I know, we're not going to pan up. But, um, but this will be like a general like a uh, warm up for us to warm up like for the first number. Oh. The first number is quite acrobatic heavy. So this is something we would do just to kind of get ourselves going and get the joints moving. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, let's see it. Step aside. We're going to step aside. Yeah. So Julie, as they're kind of performing one of these lifts here, talk a little bit about just how, I mean, the show is excitement right from the beginning to the end, isn't it? Exactly. So we follow, we, we follow Crystal in this, uh, in this world of her own where she seeks to see who she is and who she, she wants to be. So she dives, she ventures on the pond, the ice breaks, and she goes into this underworld where she meets different characters, including her outer ego, their dark, her darker side, which is the reflection. And together they are guided into this, this world. And she, and by discovering who she is really, which is a powerful uh, lady. Wow, oh, that is powerful is right. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder they were recruiting you at eight yeah. so early. That is amazing. How much do you guys practice, Amber? Um, we pretty much train every day. It is every yeah. day. Okay, every and is day. it? Do you tr train as much on the ice as you do, like on the floor, or? Um, usually trainings are just on the floor. Okay. Um, because the skaters are usually on the ice. Oh, sure. Makes sense. <laughs> and, and Jack, is this show good for all ages? Definitely, definitely. We actually have a, a huge, uh, like, a lot of positive feedback from the families and stuff like that because the show is really easy to follow. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying it every interview that I do, but it's, um, it's kind of like half Frozen, half Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. And it's narrated actually throughout the whole show in English and everything, so for the kids to understand and to follow it along is yeah. super easy. 
Yeah. And he got a little hockey in there for my little hockey player. That he's going to come and really enjoy that part too. All right. If you are looking to check out Crystal, the show runs October 11th through the 14th at the Rush Center. For tickets, head to TicketStarOnline.com or you can call toll-free 800-895-0071. It's not often we get to see something like this in Green Bay. So highly recommend. Thanks, you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.